a showy bastard. Look at him, like Tom Cruise and James Bond and Harrison Ford mixed into one. Commander Putz docks the, the Transformer and is ready to enter the premises. What a hero of man. What a brother of the ancients. What a god among humanity. Hello, buddy. What? I know I do, buddy. Yeah. The ancient sacredity of the nation entwined in a bifurcation of time. No man, we've got to go for the, for the plan. Kebab, kebabs are a bit, they have fruity bits on, don't they? Gourmet pizza. Hey? Gourmet pizza. No man, I, well, you've got, you had me my hopes up. I want, I want me. Proper me. What's that? Steak. Oh, it doesn't sound right, man. It sounds foreign. I'm about to tell you something that's going to really trouble you deeply. Ratatouille? No. It's got blue cheese sauce on it. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Toy Town Village of Loveliness. Taking our bloody seats. It's like apocalypse look at now, aren't you? Chucking in thousands and thousands of maggots. Is he? Yeah, look at the maggots he's chucking in. Is so what, he the maggot chucker, buddy? He's the maggot chucker. <laughs> Sir, nope. are you the maggot chucker? No, 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 leave them, leave them. Leave them to chuck Rigor maggots. Rigor Mortis is almost set in. We they must. How do we fish? Look, he's doing moment. it. He's doing it. He's doing it. What is he doing? Well, you see the float there. Little red knobby bouncing around. Two of them. Orange. Oh red. yes, yes, yes. They are the re the top end of the rig, commonly known as. And underneath the flotation device, displacing water at perfect point at the red mark for visual context, there is commonly a lead ball, a size 8 or 12 hook, and a maggot. Am I that maggot, Putsy? No, not the maggot. <laughs> Am I nicer than a maggot, Putsy? Yeah, but the, the fish like the maggots. So they're hoping is that they're going to catch maggot-loving creatures so that they can eat it. Sound like a very good idea to me. I'd rather eat something that ate lettuce. Well, what do you eat? You're in a cold maggot. 
Oh, no, I'm sure they're nice. Sure. We're talking angelic, superhuman. The X-Men symbol is found everywhere in society, including the grounds of Christchurch. Optimism, blind optimism can kill you. That's blind optimism. Huxley, get nearer. This is amazing. This shot is like something out of Apocalypse Now. Look at it on my camera. Buddy, this is going in the movie. So explain to the viewers why they're... Oh, oh, they're wobbling the ship. That's amazing. These old timers will go. They don't say we're awesome. We're not doing this at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Feed at night. Okay. You daft bird. You have to eat, you have to fish at night. We're not fishing at night. I'm telling you. Do fish really eat at night? Yeah, I was fishing last night. It was a meditatory, almost soul, yeah, soulful experience. Go in, buddy. Go in. Go in. Go in. I think this is the one. Well, here it is. This is somehow one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. It is the sacred area, the region. What's your bitching flow? And here we wait. As calm as snooker players, watching the proceedings, waiting for Commander Patsy to return from the door of fates, like the hero he is, having forgotten to put a car parking ticket on the car. We await now, solemn, gifted in our finery, and just holding firm, in the knowledge, in the realization, in the hope, the trust, the accordance with witness and virtue to all manner of reality, that our dear brother Commander Patsy will return through the door of fate ASAP, spending good cheer and happy solace to all around him, as he is most convivial and wanting to do. Now, you see, we have come to a difficult juncture. The tedium is growing and I want to drop and, and I think I see him in the reflection like a quantum shield of heroism. Here he comes. What a fucking hero. Look at the You can save the day. You can save the day. It's true. I can save the day. And Commander Patsy it's a, knows uh, it. It's a song by Whitney Houston. Are you sure it's not by the well, fifth dimension? You can save the day. You can save the day. You know the one? Whitney, the, the, the album Whitney. Never heard it, but it's an amazing song, dude. Let's get it on. All right. The legacy of the ancients is within us. Oh no, they got to get in the stocks. It does look amazing, and the, and the truth of the knowledge is the witness to the given. The evidence of actuality. Holy, defined, ancient, real. I'm not having this. You're going to have to be interviewed about this. You're going to have to take it like a man. You knew that was the Peregrine Falcon. Yeah. And you knew how. Because, you know the statue of the little man in the West Tower? It's actually my great, 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 great grandfather. Are you making shit up again? Christchurch, Christopher, I was named after my ancestors who built this town. Are you serious? Yeah. So you own Christchurch by proxy? Yeah, and it was my great, 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 great grandfather that introduced the Peregrine Falcons to the town. Are you talking shit now? Yes. 100% shit? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You're such a knob. 
a good story. It would be a good story. If yes, if it was true. You like stories. They're the true, apart you from like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, oh, buddy. Yeah, and Ghostbusters Afterlife was very Look good as her. well. I think she was possibly the most wonderful, the these woman. These I can't ever. see them in Shadow Theorem. And her voice was incredible. Okay, okay. We, wow. We love you. We do love you, Whitney. And love will save the day. I always liked and I will always love you. That was an amazing song. I mean, it just cracks my bones every time I listen to that at the peak point of just octave breaking genius. He's not wrong. Right there. It's never that simple. It nuzzles now. The hedge. It is doing something, it is looking for something, it wants something, it demands something from the hedgerow. See it, it is so, so aggressive in its tongue and its beakage, assaulting the hedgerow upon the riverbank like a madman, like an assaulting ninja driven warrior of virtue and beauty. And here we see the swan by its nest in its natural habitat going through its feathers like a, a throwing out of the cupboard of Ikea to a woman of virtue and grace and love and feeling those wholesome downy elements of what a swan is of what it means to be a swan and there it is now inspecting its anal aspects to ensure a cleanse flow of detritus from its excretion unit area. And now I'm just looking at the swan's ass, which seems in this diabolical approach to reality. I hope it doesn't think I'm laughing at it. How you doing, buddy? Good. The 
Does she give you a hard time? Oh, she's been fucking horrible to her. Why? Uh, I think she's coming up to the menopause. The bird's exquisite beauty is almost sacred in the innate arts of appreciating the morality and the aesthetics of beauty. We are bestowed with honour to have this swan here today. Illuminated. We're now illuminated and yeah, now good. Alright, so, Christopher Parfit, tell me a story from the oratory about me that I don't remember. You did this ridiculous thing. Like, I've never seen anyone perform like this for the camera. The, the cameras were there. Is that true? Beautiful thing I have ever seen. And from that moment on, I think we have been separable by only a hair. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah. How winsome your glorious brotherhood cup is. Thank you. I, I, I suggest we now go for the meal and fall in love even further. Oh, I love it. Eternia, my friend, Eternia. Let's in walk that way first. Back in ancient man. What's going on, buddy? Come on. You can't leave us out here in the field. Hello, darling. Perfectly mellifluous. That was really cool. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I sustain the hold. It feels uncomfortable sometimes for artists <laughs> to sustain it. But um, the beauty of the music is great enough to use as a soundtrack. So I work it as an audio field as well. Oh, brilliant. You know? Fantastic. And I'll definitely use that as part of the, of the documentary because it's all about love and the creation, you know? Brilliant. Fantastic. Well, have you got a website or something? Put on your card. Do you want me to call it in as well, or do you want to call it in and go and then pick it up? Because once you call, they'll it'll be out there once you've gone out. Okay. Well done. You're very clever. Um, Granny's coming over. Creamy goodness. Just wants an ice cream. You want to know what's going on? There are peregrine falcons in this church. That's what they are, baby. Two peregrine falcons in the crown of ancients. The beauty of reality. Two of the fastest species on Earth standing there like guardians to time.
Thank you very much. That was amazing. Appreciate it. Blessed is the Lord. Watch the controlled breathing I am employing, buddy. This is how you scope on a long range without a tripod. You see my breathing up and down so gently. It's how you, yeah, I am taking a shot. It's called a shot in photography, isn't it? Dreamy little dreamy bastards of the wonder Come and have another go It's you, you're they're worried about you. The elegance of the ancient monument stands firm in the beauty of the glorious tidings of the surrounds. There is no fear here. There is only English royal sacred beauty. Oh, Tell me another one. I've told you all my stories, but you just don't remember them. I don't I remember all of them. You don't remember none of my stories. Right. No, niggas, we're not going to do this. Go on. No. Tell me a story about me. No. Look at this lovely tree. Look at this lovely tree. Look at this lovely tree. What? What have you seen? Mullets. Oh, I see them all. They're all down there. You wouldn't have seen those unless no. I'd have been here. Yeah, but I'm not really interested in fish. I'm, They're like, boring. I'd save our life if we had to, you know? Boring, you crappy, know? horrible food, You've buddy. You're talking rubbish. You're talking rubbish. Give me a cow or machete it. Machete a cow if you love steak. Do you love steak? Will you machete a cow with me, buddy? Why not, buddy? We set your cow together. Trout. I'm not interested in your trout, trout. or your specimens. They're reasonable size, isn't it? You, you get me out of here. Reasonable size trout. Get me out of your fucking trouts, mate. They sell that in a half a pound a pound shop. Do it, buddy. Sing a song of sixpence. Whoa. I'm going through. Nice. I'm in. I'm in paradise. Heaven at last. I've been planning it for quite a number of years. <laughs> and yeah, for a number of years to go and see them. Well, I mean, listen, I, I don't want to get into what who's right and wrong. I'm just a bit worried about it. I don't.
Well, I mean, she is. She's still extremely... Yeah, she's still extremely, like, you know, straightforward, but she's, she's finding it really difficult to deal with the girl's emotions and her own emotions. Uh, I guess it's the start of the menopause, maybe. Mm. Mm. No, no uh, hold on, Patsy, come back here. No, you've got to come here. Come here. Now walk towards the camera saying something profound. Fishy, fishy, very fishy. Right, I'm going to run out of battery. It's not the fucking White Cliffs of Dover, it's the Isle of Wight, you bastard. Yeah, right. I had to get it on the film, buddy. So we remember this point. We remember this moment. Have you walk <laughs> Twat. No. Don't be retarded. Christ, Don't. Yes. Chris, Christchurch. Oh, uh, your name, not your relative. Oh, yeah, this That's is why you want to come here. You think you're the new Messiah, do you? His name's Christ. Walk into the centre of the image, buddy. Dude, walk into the centre of the... Why? He's got one. His is bigger than mine. Haven't. I'm not going. Money, and then we'd have been laughing. That's the hill. That's where they're going to come from. A mate of mine was into surfing, right? Right. And he was quite good. There's someone down there. There's movement. I've got movement on scopes. Hello, human. This is where we go. 
Men uh, you were a peregrine falcon, where would you make your home? Somewhere like that. Do you know what I mean? They are the bird of prey in the house of prayer. Yes, yes, I got that. Yes, this is, this is, I, did, I noted that. So I think they have the perfect position. It's a nice lookout tower. Isn't it? Built by humans. Great place. The studying of the peregrine falcons is the prophecy fulfilled. We study peregrine falcons at Sands on Manor. Really? Yeah. Civilization, the creation of time, was the dawn of soul, the empire and beauty of wonder. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. What is it? Cherries. I don't eat this shit. Cherries? Are you gay, buddy? You wore a cherry. I'm not eating cherries. I'm not eating cherries. I don't eat fruit or vegetables. Why have you spent five quid on cherries? Because I need to have something for my heart. They have to be very good for my little heart. Oh, well, that's all right then. Do you want one of these? What, a magnum? It's not a magnum. What flavor? It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, what, what is in the inside? No, it's chocolate, buddy. It looks like it's made of rosemary tint. And that's a bit gay. I'm not happy with that. You have it, buddy. You enjoy. I'm putting these down on the ground. The weekend of the Chinese. Come, brother. We have found the town you can see with Ra. I haven't seen a bust in so many years. And it takes me on some kind of awful survival course into the endurance of man, into the God unknown, where we're lost entirely without virtue or satisfaction or guarantee that we're going to survive. Well, thanks for that, Patsy. This is why sticking to paths is a good idea. Always knowing that if you turn around and go the same way you can, you're going to get back to the woods. Listen to the guru who knows where he's going. <laughs> uh, we wasted a lot of our life talking about shit like that. I don't know where the fuck we are. 
but you have really annoyed me, Putsy. Thank you very much. I do my best. I am so angry right now. I know. I aim to achieve and I have succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Yes, a motherfucker. Look, honestly, where the hell are we? What a barbarian of madness I hang out with. A shocking disrespect. Look, and look, ready? And look, here we are in the middle of fucking nowhere on a jolly for whatever and who cares and God damn it! Ah, oh, the ducks, the sacred echelon. Heather Locklear. Locklear. Is it Heather Locklear? You don't remember the name? Locklear. From the 80s? Yeah. She was fit. She was very fit. <coughs> no, it did. I don't know what she was from, really. The, Col the Colvington, Dallas Hall. And here in the middle of nowhere. We find one of the most incredible examples of a bench ever made by humanity. It's a piece of, it's a whole tree trunk carved out. It's a work of art, and buddy. It's blackened, I think it's been. Wait, wait till you sit in it. How do you feel? Does it feel good? Solid? It's incredible. It's the best seat I've ever had. Excellent, excellent. Take a seat. I will. The hedgehogs are particularly special. It's lovely to be here with you, Percy. Isn't this wonderful? Yes, this is all right, but I don't know how we're going to get it back. Walk. I'm not going that far again, buddy. Well, you'll have to sleep here. Oh, uh, fuck you. Look. How good is that? Feel it. Oh, you've got some sort of shit on. Uh, yeah. Is there someone in there? And thus the day was coming to an end. And the Top Gun stunners disappeared into the silhouette of a million dreams of fancy and perfection as everyone delighted in the truth of knowledge. I guess that was the end of our journey. We didn't know any then. The nice people with the dog. Shut up, I'm talking. I hey, guess... Hey, that's a joke too. Oh, fuck's sake. I really like that. I guess that was the end of our journey. We didn't know then the kind of men we had become. But the kind of men we had become were men who were still alive and men who didn't care anymore. That's quite a nice ending to our film, was it? Illuminati confirmed.